Genesis chapter 37 Jacob settled in the land where his father had lived as an alien the land of Canaan this is the story of the family of Jacob Joseph being 17 years old was shepherding the flock with his brothers he was a helper to the sons of Bela and Silpha his father's wives and Joseph brought a bad report of them to their father now Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his children because he was the son of his old age and he had made him a long robe with sleeves but when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him once Joseph had a dream and when he told it to his brothers they hated him even more he said to them listen to this dream that I dreamed there we were binding sheaves in the field suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright then your sheaves gathered around it and bowed down to my sheaf his brothers said to him are you indeed to reign over us are you indeed to have dominion over us so they hated him even more because of his dreams and his words he had another dream and told it to his brothers saying look I have had another dream the sun the moon and eleven stars were bowing down to me but when he told it to his father and to his brothers his father rebuked him and said to him what kind of dream is this that you have had shall we indeed come I and your mother and your brothers and bow down to you and bow down to the ground before you so his brothers were jealous of him but his father kept the matter in mind now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem and Israel said to Joseph are not your brothers pasturing the flock at Shechem come I will send you to them he answered here I am so he said to him go now see if it is well with your brothers and with the flock and bring word back to me so he sent him from the valley of Hebron he came to Shechem and a man found him wandering in the fields the man asked him what are you seeking I am seeking my brothers he said tell me please where they are pasturing the flock the man said they have gone away for I heard them say let us go to Dothan so Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan they saw him from a distance and before he came near to them they conspired to kill him they said to one another here comes this dreamer come now let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits then we shall say that a wild animal has devoured him and we shall see what will become of his dreams but when Reuben heard it he delivered him out of their hand saying and saying let us not take his life Reuben said to them shed no blood throw him into this pit here in the wilderness but lay no hand on him that he might rescue him out of their hand and restore him to his father so when Joseph came to his brothers they stripped him of his robe the long robe with the sleeves that he wore and they took him and threw him into a pit the pit was empty there was no water in it then they sat down to eat and looking up they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels carrying gum, balm and rosin on their way to carry down to Egypt then Judah said to his brothers what profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood come let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him for he is our brother our own flesh and his brothers agreed when some Midianites traders passed by 
that drew Joseph up, lifting him out of the pit, and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. When Reuben returned to their pit, the pit, and saw that Joseph was not in the pit, he tore his clothes. He turned. He returned to his brothers and said, "The boy is gone, and I where can I turn?" Then they took Joseph's robe, slaughtered at the goat, and dipped the robe in the blood. They had the long robe with the sleeves taken to their father, and they said, "This is we have found. See now, whether it is your son's robe or not." He recognized it and said, "I, it is my son's robe. A wild animal has devoured him." Joseph is. Without doubt, torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his garments and put sackcloth on his loins and mourned for his son many days. All his sons and all his daughters sought to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted and said, "No, I shall go down to Sheol to my son, mourning." Thus his father devoured him. Meanwhile, the Midianites had sold him in Egypt to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard.